Okay, so let's click on Google Groups. And as you can see, we have five different groups that we can provision users to in G Suite. So we have company news, executive team, help desk, HR team comms, and security alert. So there are some of these groups I want everyone to have access to. I want all of the users that I provision in G Suite, I want them to have access to, um, let's say, three of these. But there are a couple that I don't want everyone to have access to specifically executive team and HR team comms. Those are for specific teams. So I'm going to move over security alert, help desk, and company news. And I'm gonna leave these two on the left-hand side, which means we're not gonna set these by default for everyone, but we will set these by default for everyone. And we need to make sure to remember to check this box, include in user provisioning and then click Save. Click Save again. Great, so now that's set as a default. So when we provision a user to G Suite, that by default will be some Google Groups that we set with an update. Now those specific groups that we have, HR team comms and executive, uh, executive team, we could use rules for. So and let's say if you have HR team comms, let's do that one first. And we'll give it a condition. So click one condition, otherwise it's just a default. And we will say if your department, say contains just to be safe, HR, then I'm gonna set the group in G Suite to HR team comms. Now you can add multiple conditions if you want, right? I mean, it's a mapping. That's what a rule is, an app-specific provisioning mapping. So if I wanted to add another condition, I could do that. And then I could say, you need to match all the conditions or just any of them. So essentially, is it and or is it or? One and two and three to perform these set of actions or this action, or one or two or three. Okay, after you've decided what kind of criteria you want your users to fit in order to be provisioned to a specific group in G Suite, then hit save. So I'm gonna actually remove that. I'm gonna keep mine very simple. Select save. Select save again. So we have some Google Groups set by default. We have a rule set up. I'll create one more rule for the executive, call this executive team. And we're gonna use title this time. Once again, you can use any of the standard and custom fields or directory fields available to you. If this was, um, let's say, an active directory user, you could use the member of field. You could use the directory name you know, whatever custom or directory details you have available to you, you can use that as criteria to perform uh, these actions if you'd like. So if the title contains, I'm gonna use contains again, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna say chief. If it contains chief, then we're going to set the group to the executive team. Save again, head back to rules. And here's a cool thing, you can actually see if they, they map, with a mapping, you can see if your users will be mapped to these rules. So for this specifically, I can type in Sarah. Sarah will be mapped because she is my chief executive officer. Let's see who else, uh, Jack will be mapped because the, he is the chief financial officer. So those are two users that will be provisioned with that group membership if they're given access to the application. Now we already know that Jack has been set up with, with single sign-on. So as soon as I approve a provisioning task or reapply these mappings, that will be an update to the user. Now every single time you create or update mappings, you have to reapply your mappings. So I'm gonna do that.
And now that we've done that, we need to go to the Users tab now and approve those provisioning tasks.